1953 Chevy pickup that I purchased in Hadley, Michigan, just a few miles from our home. It was in pretty bad shape. Somebody had been cut the roof off because it was badly damaged, maybe from an accident rolling it over in a ditch. But me and a couple of buddies welded it back on and, and uh, started pounding on it. And metal work looked beautiful, so we went with it. The motor's uh, a 409. I got two out of out of a 40-foot wooden boat down in Gibraltar, Michigan. A good eBay find. Uh, rebuilt them using Escadarian cam, bigger heads. Turned out to be a nice motor for this truck. Uh, Five-speed trance out of a late model GM truck in a 12-volt late model rear end out of a GM truck. All teamed together, it, it became a real nice driving truck and quite powerful, too. is made by Ditzler, it's called Uno. It's actual paint, it's uh, just a flat paint. And uh, my buddy Jim Nichols laid that out. The bed, I used a 95 Ford pickup bed for the floor of the bed. I didn't go with traditional wood uh, like, like people normally do. Just wanted a little something different, something more usable. Had that powder coated and uh, it really, really turned out to be Great piece of work. The seat's out of a 85 Chevy, cut down five inches. I've got a vintage Stuart Warner tack. It's cable drive. Got a vintage radio. The wheels and tires are stock GM, powder coated with a set of wide whites from Corker Tire. this hobby this is uh, this is my life I'm retired I've done this all my life and I couldn't wait to retire to get in the garage and do exactly what I love and that's these cars I love working on old cars I love working on gas pumps I love working on bumper cars I love building wagons anything that requires gas it's a shame that the gas prices went up but I sure enjoy it Are we done yet? Because I got a lot of work back at the shop to get to. Can't wait to get to it. I'll see ya.